Now here we are talking about the different types of repeats uh, that we can find uh, inside the structure of a DNA. So for example in the first place we are talking about the, the simple from simple we are, which is a direct repeat. Now if you start from here as you can see uh, from this 5 prime to 3 prime direction so it is anti parallel orientation 5 prime to 3 prime then then inversely 3 prime to 5 uh, 5 prime to 3 prime in the inverse direction. Now we have T C A G A G so after uh, this part we can see the invert uh, this repeat sequences now again it the same sequence is repeating so T C A G uh, G A G again T C A G A G so this is a repeating one after another so one two three then again one two three that is called the direct repeat what we can see in this case same thing happens in the opposite direction but maintaining the complementary nature of the DNA that means if we have a G in the opposite side we have, a, we have to have a C so if you think C T C T G A then from here again we have to have C T C T G A okay now let's m uh, focus on the mirror repeats now what is a mirror repeat as the name suggests if we consider a mirror at this uh, particular plane here then you can find this sequence in the in this left hand side t t a g c a c and uh, if we put a mirror what the other mirror image that you can find in the opposite side of the mirror is c a c g a t t like that so c a c g a t t look at this so and same thing can happen uh, in opposite side as you can see because uh, all these things are formed this bond uh, this the double strands are formed bonds using the complementary nature of the dna so you can see the same thing here so we have to say that we have a 5 prime here 3 pr uh, 3 prime so this direction has to be maintained properly and again here is the 5 prime and here is the 3 prime okay so the direction has to be maintained properly but still this is called a mirror repeat but because we can consider a mirror in in this plane and after plating, uh, putting this mirror we can find this sequence looking at the mirror that's why it's called a mirror sequence so uh, if I do like this 1 2 3 then the sequence will be 3 2 1 after right after 1 2 3 so here is the mirror so this is called the mirror sequence now let us talk about the final one, which is a palindromic sequences which is a little bit complicated but is uh, simple so just look at here this is the same uh, like this mirror repeat but instead of having this mirror placed on the same plane we will place it in the opposite strand okay so in this case what we can see the mirror has been put in the same strand that's why we are fi finding this mirror repeat but in palindromes this is also we are talking about a mirror repeat but the the mirror which the imaginary mirror has been placed not in uh, in the the same strand where we talk about the first sequence uh, the mirror is placed in the other strand so we are uh, considering st uh, this this strand so t t a g c a c but we are putting the mirror in the opposite strand that means not in this strand if we call strand a and strand b then we, uh, we have to put the mirror on strand b after putting this mirror on strand b at this place then you can find from here c a c g a t t so again c a c g a t t so the sequence will be this is the part so we have one two three we have to put the mirror but we're not putting the mirror in this uh, strand we are putting it here so from here we have three two one but in in the mirror sequence what we find in in the mirror repeat we have one two three we are putting the mirror on the same strand and we are having three two one okay so that is the difference between this palindromic sequence and mirror repeats